This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Mercury. This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Mercury. Oh, that is so hard to say. Why? <music> Everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I have a guest here. This is the new addition to our family. We just got a new puppy <laughs> like a week ago, exactly a week ago, last Sunday. And we have not decided a name for him, but my, fr my husband's friend at work, his dog had puppies. <laughs> and so he was like, do you want one? And we were like, yes, we do. So we're in between names. <laughs> we're thinking either the name Tux, T-U-X, like a tuxedo, or Hades. Because we, all of our dogs before have had like Greek and Roman and Norwegian uh, mythology names. He wants to go away. Okay, say bye. Say bye puppies. Bye. Um, our dog right now that we have, I'm not gonna pick her up because when I pick her up, she pees. <laughs> but her name is Sif. Like Lady Sif from um, Norwegian mythology. And we had a dog before that that was Athena. And now we're thinking Hades. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, I have an actual name for the dog. We'll see. Anyways, um, let's get into the real crux of this video, which is the boxing, unboxing palooza that is going to happen in this video. I have had this channel for a year now. And at the beginning of the channel, I did a Ipsy versus Boxy unboxing every month. And it kind of went up and down where I sometimes had only the $12 Ipsy and sometimes I had the $25 Ipsy and sometimes I had the $35 Boxy and the 20 It was all over the place because I was trying to make up my mind. And um, the last couple of Boxies at the end of 2021, Boxy Charm, were pretty terrible. So I decided to quit Boxy Charm in general. And I was like, okay, well, let's just only do um, unboxing videos for Ipsy X because Ipsy X is amazing. Ipsy X is a quarterly um, box where it is $55 a quarter. So it's a big chunk of money for $55 and you get a ton of products, a ton of full size products in a box. And I was like, that is still going to be fun to watch, to unbox. And, and we won't even do BoxyCharm. Well, I did cancel BoxyCharm and then I didn't. <laughs> I canceled it in December for the base BoxyCharm. And then the January BoxyCharm Premium was amazing. <laughs> it had quite a few things, like specifically the Aether, the new Aether Beauty Palette that I really wanted. And I was like, oh, the new Aether Beauty Palette is $48. And the Premium Box is $40. So I was like, let's do that. And then it had five other items that I wanted. So. I, I picked up the January premium BoxyCharm box. I didn't show it on the channel because I told you guys I was gonna cancel. Then I forgot to cancel in February. Slash I was on the fence and then I just never got off the fence, I guess, I don't know. So um, now, finally, I canceled BoxyCharm again. Since I have a couple of boxes to unbox, I figured I'd just put them in this video. I have the Ipsy X but, um, to unbox. I have the BoxyCharm Premium to unbox. And so the Ipsy X is for February. The BoxyCharm Premium is for February. And then I also have a Milk Cosmetics Valentine's Mystery Box to unbox. So I thought it would be fun to just unbox them all right here. If you like unboxings, this is the video to watch. I also do a lot of unboxings on this channel. So if you like that, consider subscribing to my channel. Let's start with the Ipsy bag. In order to have the Glam Bag X, you have to be subscribed to the monthly Glam Bag. And you can either have the, when I first started Ipsy years ago, like seven years ago, um, it was only $10 a month for the sample size Ipsy, just regular Glam Bag. <laughs> then it went up to $11. Then it went up to $12. Now it's $13. And um, the fact that it keeps going up is not fun. It's not fun. I mean, it's the economy, but it's it's not a fun game to play. Um, and I switched, and right now I am part of the Ipsy Plus bag, which is, it start, when I started, it was $25 a month. It's now $28 a month. So everything is going up. All the prices are going up. Not fun. If you are subscribed to either the Glam Bag 
regular or the Glam Bag Plus, then you can um, sign up on top of those for the Glam Bag X. The month that you get the quarterly months, it's February, May, August, and November. If you get those months, you will not be getting both. You won't be getting the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag X or Glam Bag Plus and the Glam Bag Plus. Wait, Glam Bag Plus and the Glam Bag X. You will just be getting like a substitute. You'll just be getting the Glam Bag X. And that's good because it's $55. So you're not paying 28 plus 55 or 13 plus 55, which would be a chunk of change. So um, it's nice to only have to pay that one chunk of change. This month of February, I just am getting my Glam Bag X. Next month, I will be getting my Glam Bag Plus again. And this month, a uh, curator for Glam Bag X is Addison Ray. Addison Ray is a young content creator, and I, I have to admit, I don't know a lot about her. She's this just young, up and coming content creator. She uh, was, I did actually on Netflix see the movie He's All That and she's in it. And I didn't realize that that was Addison Rae until later. And she's like making music and she has a brand called Item Beauty and like in Sephora. And she is also has just tons of followers on YouTube and probably uh, elsewhere. Um, so she's a very big influencer, let's say. And, but here's the thing. Did she make a good box a good curated ipsy x box well let's find out so with the glam bag x you there are eight items in here eight full-size items addison ray slash ipsy picks five of them for me and i get based on my quiz um and i get to pick out the other three let's see how well addison ray did it comes with just like um fat fit fun it comes with a magazine that talks about addison ray and i believe it talks about the choices yeah it does so that'll be good because it will have um the choices that i got and the prices so i can give you that information because sometimes for the ipsy plus it doesn't actually have that information so i never were able to give it to you okay let me talk about what ipsy picked for me first and then i will go through what I picked. So, oh, I got, it It got, um, it's fine. It's just the package, but it, I just noticed that now. So this is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. I actually have a little baby one of this. I got this, I think in a Nipsey box or maybe an Allure box. I don't know. I got this many, many moons ago, <laughs> um, years ago. And I really, really liked it. I thought it was absolutely, it's it's dirty and it's used because I've used it a, a quite a few times. It has a good amount of depth and brightness. And I remember thinking like, this was probably one of my first neutral palettes. And I really, really, really liked the looks with it. So it's it has been one of my favorite neutral palettes. And, um, and I actually haven't talked about it. Like I think that in my palette declutter, no, my palette declutter was only big palettes, but like in, in like my entire palette collection, I don't even think I mentioned that one because it was in my purse. <laughs> so, um, I think I've completely forgot about it. This is the big one of it. So I think that I'm going to be able to declutter that one because it's seen better days and it's older. And now I can just have this one. So it's good to have this because it is new, brand new to me. And it has more colors than the original or the, the smaller one so that I will be able to, I'm sure that I will like it as well. So here is the one that I just got in my Ipsy X and Ipsy picked this for me. So this was my original one and here's the bigger one. You can see that a lot of the colors are the same. So I believe this color and this color are the same and this color and this color are the same, this color and this color are the same this color and this color are the same. Anyways, I think we have the same exact color. So that's good because I don't need both of them. This one is like six years old. So let's pass this to the trash can um, and keep this one. That's great. I really like this. It says that this is worth $20. I love Juvia's Place because it's it's good palettes. They have really good eyeshadow consistency. I love the, the consistency of Juvia's Place's eyeshadows. And it's a really great price. $20 for 12 eyeshadows. That's a great price. Great. Okay, so what else did Ipsy pick for me from Tula? 
Tula Skincare. It is the 24 seven moisture hydrating day and night cream. Tula is a brand that I really like. I have everything that I have gotten from Tula, I've gotten from actually from subscription boxes from FabFitFun and yep, from FabFitFun. So this, I'm finally getting a Tula in Ipsy and I really, I really do enjoy Tula. Do I have a lot of day and night creams? Yes, but it's Tula. It's a nice, they have, Tula is like a really nice brand that has a lot of like, it says probiotics and prebiotics and superfoods. It's, it's just really, really good for your skin. So am I glad to have this? Yes, yes I am. It is $52. That's, that's, that's pricey, $52. So there we go. Um, what else did Ipsy pick for me? Color Wow Hair. So this is a extra large bombshell volumizer. I feel like I have put on my, on my quiz that I have very thick and very already volumized hair. So this is something that is just kind of not necessary for me. Like I have thick hair <laughs> and this is actually after having lost some hair in this transition to curly hair, um, I've lost a, a good chunk of hair because when it's curly like this and I brush it when it's curly, like in the shower, I brush it in the shower, um, a lot of hair comes out when it's curly. Um, so I, I have a lot of hair. I don't need help with thickening. So this is kind of not necessary for me. Um, it's something I, I from, from what I've seen, most boxes that I've seen people have gotten this. So I think this may usually um, in the boxes, like everybody gets something, uh, everybody gets like the curator says, I want everybody to get this one thing. Like in one of my boxes, every single person got the Fenty mascara. Um, so I think that this might be that, that every single person got this regardless of it's good for your hair or not. I don't know. This is probably going to go to a future giveaway because I don't need it. I have enough hair. I don't need more volume. I don't. It's just, it's not something that I need. That is three things. Um, so another thing that Ipsy chose for me is this NZ Skin. It is Soothe and Smooth. Oh wait, that Color Wow was $26, okay? So this NZ Skin Soothe and Smooth, oh, oh I just looked at the price. This is $143. It's a brand I've never even heard of. It's by Dr. Mariam Zamini. Zamani. Okay. It is a soothe and smooth hyaluronic brightening eye complex. And it's small, but um, I've noticed that eye creams usually are pretty small because you know how much surface area do we have around our eyes? Very, very small amount of surface area. So um, we don't need a lot of cream, but I have a ton of eye creams, I really do. In every single subscription box, they throw in an eye cream. So I have a million eye creams. Do I have a $143 eye cream? Ugh. I don't know, do I? I? I don't know, but it's not something I need. Anywho, there we go, okay. So then, let's see what else did Ipsy pick for me. It's the brand Kinship. It is a super matte, super melt vegan lip jelly mask. You can see it says kinship when I turn it like that. It's only written on half of it. You know, anyways, it is this deeply moisturizing lip treatment has our planet's health in mind. It's made up of 50% post-consumer recycled planet, plant, re, post-recycled plastic and recyclable paper. I like that. I really do. I like that. I like, I love taking care of our planet. Um, and I love... Um, lip masks because my lips get really dry. So that is a nice thing. That is $18. Out of the five things that I got that Ipsy chose for me, only one of them is makeup. That's highly disappointing. Highly. I like to have more makeup than that. There was an option to get key sunglasses. And um, I love key sunglasses. I had the very first pair I got was in a FabFitFun box. And then after that was when I discovered, oh my gosh, I love these. They were this big aviator pair. And I think they actually had 
they had two options in this choice and they had a pair of aviators. And I believe it was that same one that I got from FabFitFun years ago. And then in this one, it was a different kind, a different frame. And so since I got those from FabFitFun, I actually have made my own purchase from Key. And it's actually pronounced Key, not Quay, <laughs> even though you would think it's pronounced Quay. It's an Australian brand, and so that is key. I have picked up some keys of my own, and I just love them. I love because they have a lot of like options. You can have them polarized. You can get ones with pretty colors. You can, they're just, they're, they're really high, like luxury glasses without the price tag. They're, they're like $50 for a pair of sunglasses, not like $200. So they're not like the price of like Ray-Bans, but they're not like Walmart sunglasses either. I feel like they're a nice, happy medium. So they're really nice sunglasses, but not where I'm paying $200. Okay. So they had the two options here in this box. They had the, the aviator option, which I already have aviators. And then they had this option which this is like super futuristic looking. Do you guys see that? And I was like, can I pull this off? Can I make this work? You know, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know if I can. I actually put these on um, earlier this week and went and grabbed a soda at like the soda shack. And I think the, the girl who was serving me probably was like, wow, that is a weirdo, but I don't care. I think it's so cool. You know, every time that I wear bright red lipstick, people are like, wow, you can pull off bright red lipstick. And I'm like, you know why I can? Because I do it. <laughs> I just do it. Um, nobody told me I can wear lips bright red lipstick. I just wear it. And then people are like, oh, you pull it off. You could too. You just need to wear it. So can I pull these off? Sure. I don't know. Probably not, but why not? I think they're fun. And um, they have like a really nice, like they're, they're dark. I like them. Anyways, they're really cool. I like them. I feel futuristic in them. Okay. So did I pick out some keys? Yeah. This was kind of a cool option because I have never seen sunglasses in an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm before. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah. It's not a makeup item. And I, I was able to pick a makeup item for this option, but I kind of wanted these sunglasses because I love keys for one. And I've never had an, a, a sunglasses option in an FC or a boxy term. Yeah, I have in a FabFitFun, but this isn't FabFitFun, is it? These keys are worth $65. Pretty good, pretty excited about those. Okay, so those I picked for myself. There are two more things. Then there's this K18 biometric hair science. Okay, so this option, there wasn't and it was another one that was just skincare or hair care. There wasn't any makeup. And I was like, why no makeup? Come on, Ipsy, I want makeup. And I was frustrated. But then I found out that this brand of, um, this hair mask is like going viral and people are saying it's better than the Olaplex hair masks. I don't know, I haven't used it yet. It is the Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. This is a $75 hair mask. It's 1.7 ounces and it's $75. So that's pricey. <laughs> My Olaplex hair mask that is like three ounces is, I think it's $39. So like twice the amount for less half the price. So this better be better than the Olaplex because it's twice as expensive. Um, so anyways, but it's going viral as people are saying it's the most amazing hair mask. So I'm glad I picked it. But again, I was sad that I didn't have a makeup option. Last but not least, what did I pick for myself? Okay, so the last option when you pick the Ipsy X, it is kind of like the least expensive option and you can pick a bag because Ipsy is very known for having bags. Um, every time you get your Ipsy Glam Bag, just regular, or your Ipsy Plus, it always comes with a bag. So the Ipsy X has the option to come with a bag. And so the last choice can be a bag and it's a nice bag. Um, or you can pick an item. And again, it wasn't a makeup option. For me, at least. I didn't get a makeup option. Um, only one of my choices had a makeup option and it was the one that I chose the keys instead. So I picked these Starface. <laughs> They're Starface Hydro Stars 
um, hydrocolloid pimple patches. So right now I don't have very many pimples because I went on Accutane about a year ago. And so my skin is pretty under control, but every once in a while I will get a pimple and I didn't have any pimple patches around because I had, I think I gave them to my son and then he lost them. And so I was like, Hey, these are really cute. They're like shaped as stars. Here, I'll just, I don't want to open it right now, but they're shaped as stars. You put a little star patch on your little zit. And I mean, it's something that you might not want to wear in public. Um, it's personally, I wear them at night. I'll put it on my face at night and in the morning, take it off. And it's like pulled all of the gross stuff out of your skin. It's amazing. These are, these are absolutely amazing. So is this a makeup item? No. <sighs> Did I pick it? Yeah. But the other choices were even, even not as good. So Addison Ray was she pumped up this box being like, hey, I have Item Beauty, which is her brand. Um, I didn't get one Item Beauty item. Um, she also said that she was going to have a Pat McGrath item. And it was the least expensive Pat McGrath item that she sells, a lip gloss, but still, I didn't even get that. And I didn't get the option for it either. In my three choices, the Pat McGrath lip gloss was not an option. It was an option in the add-ons, so I could have spent like $12 more and got a lip gloss, but I was like, that's not in my budget right now. <laughs> I've already spent the money I needed to spend. Like I've already spent my money this month. So um, as you can see, I bought this Melt Mystery Box. So it, I I feel like Addison Rae talked up her box that she was gonna have Pat McGrath and she was gonna have Anna Beauty and she was gonna have Stila and Key and Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I did get the Key sunglasses, but I didn't get Stila. I didn't get Pat McGrath. I didn't get Item. I didn't get Anastasia Beverly Hills. Where are the things that she talked about that were so great? Also, there are eight items in my box. One, I have one makeup item. One to seven ratio of makeup items. I have to say, this is my worst Ipsy X box ever. I didn't get the Patrick Cha box. I, I didn't, I wasn't signed up for the Ipsy X at that point. Um, I was signed up after that. So the first one I got was the Khloe Kardashian one and it was amazing. And then I got the Huda one and I also got the Halsey one and those were great. Those were amazing. I loved them. They were with, worth the $55. Was this one worth $55? Yeah, I mean the keys were 65 and I paid 55. The let's let's add everything up. Give me a minute. That box is worth a total of $413.99. I realize I really went off on that box. I really like I still have two more boxes to open and I've been taping for like 30 minutes. <laughs> did I get my money's worth? Yeah. Yeah, I did. $413.99 and I paid 55 plus tax. Okay, yeah, I got my money's worth, but do I feel like I did? Do I feel like I got things that I'm going to use and I'm going to like? Meh, not compared to the other ones. That, I'm going to use the conditioning mask. I mean, it looks like it'll be cool. I like the sunglasses and the new palette, it'll be cool, but I had my old palette. Addison Rae, not, you didn't do very good. <laughs> Learn from uh, the other people who have curated before because that wasn't very good. Anyways, let's go to BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm Premium. BoxyCharm, they also have three options just like Ipsy does. You get, they have the base box is, oh, they've changed their prices. Maybe also $28. And then the premium box is $40-ish. And then they have the what is it? Like the Lux box? Yeah, I think it's um, Boxy Charm Lux. I've never gotten that box. I've actually never heard really good things about that box. But it is also quarterly. But what's nice about it is that it's not on the same months. So I think when the Ipsy box is, the X is on in February, the Lux is like in March or something. So you don't have to pay extra every, you know, on the same month. They, Ipsy owns Boxy Charm, so they know what they're doing. They know... <laughs> Not to people make people like, you know, uh, burst their pockets on the same month. The BoxyCharm Premium is $40 a month and it has six full size items. And what's really nice is that it has this card in here that says the descriptions of the items and how much they are. So I can give you a breakdown of how much everything is, which is nice. 
Okay, so BoxyCharm Premium has six items and four of them gets picked by BoxyCharm based on my quiz and two of them I get to pick. So let's start with the ones that BoxyCharm picked for me. Oh no, oh no, something leaked. That sucks. This is the Bike. Um, it is Makeup Melt. It is an oil-free makeup removing spray with skincare actives. And I believe, I don't know, can you tell that it, I don't know, it leaked. It leaked and it's all over some things, which is unfortunate because it is, there is a plastic coating around it. So I find that interesting. I don't know, I don't get that. Okay, so that is the Vike Makeup Melt is $24 MSRP, but it's the retail. And then another thing that um, was chosen for me from Christoph, Christoph Robin. This is a really nice hair care brand. Um, this is the Instant Volume Mist with Rose Water. What is it with volume? This is my second volumizing hair product. I don't need more volume in my hair. So this is going to probably go in a future giveaway or um, on when I one day set up a Poshmark as well. So this is the mist that makes thin, fine, or flat hair feel thicker. I don't have thin, thin, fine, or flat hair. So they apparently were not paying attention to my quiz on this one. Okay, that one is $39. Okay, then they also chose for me, this is Moonlit. It is a Moonlit makeup primed for the night, an eyeshadow primer, which is nice. I mean, eyeshadow primers are, I, I love eyeshadow primers because um, they make your eyeshadow last longer. It's in this cute little package. And then there is a doe foot. And it is just like a, oh, it's, it's clear. It's translucent. Um, it can be, uh, have a little bit of tone to it, but then you smooth it out and it, it turns translucent. So that's nice because it can go on all skin tones. Um, but it also, it is nice when they have a base color to them because then they can block out some of the veins on your eyes. The Moonlit Makeup Eyeshadow Primer is $18. Okay, then the last thing that BoxyCharm picked for me is from Uma Beauty. And this is a brand that I have only have a lipstick from and I do have a foundation from the Uma Sharon C that you can get at Walmart, but I had a really hard time picking out the right color because sometimes when there are too many color choices, it just freaks me out and I don't know which one to choose. It's a good thing, but it's also like, I don't know, and I freak out. Um, anyways, but I really, really love the lipstick that I have. So this is a, um, it's a lip liner. And it is, I'm not going to say the name because it's, let's just go bad A. <laughs> I, I don't cuss on my channel because I don't. So personally, the reason I don't cuss on my channel, I'm going to make this video even longer, is because I, I watch a lot of my videos um, at work or on my computer. And if, if they're inappropriate, then like my work computer will screen them. Well, I can only watch certain videos if they're like appropriate. And so I don't want people, I don't want my videos to get screened from people watching them. And so I'm like, well, why, why would I, I already have a small enough audience. Why would I limit my audience already by um, making it by, you know, cussing and whatever and making it so people can't watch my videos on their work computers or, or if they're, phones are connected to their work, whatever. So anyways, I'm not going to, it's bad A M F lip liner. There you go. It's, uh, and it is worth $16. And I guess that's, that's the color, but it's just like, Ooh, and it's in a pencil and pencil liners are interesting because they can be really nice because they can be really precise, but it depends. They could, they can be really hard. And so then you have to go oh, and, and really hurt your lips to get it on there. But they also can be really soft. And then they're just perfect. Best of both worlds. Worlds because they're very precise and they're very soft. But that is like a unicorn to get it to be both of those things. So let's see. Ooh, that might be a unicorn. It looks really soft and very precise. So good. I like that. Okay, now the two things that I chose. Um, and this month, 
I should have canceled, honestly, because um, you'll see why. You'll see. Because I didn't love the two choices that I had. So this one is from Dime. It is an eyelash boosting serum. Uh, my eyelashes are kind of thin. I actually don't have mascara on right now. So my eyelashes are thin. They are. But am I disciplined enough to put on a serum every single night? Because these serums, you have to be good about putting them on every single night for and have a routine in order for them to work. You can't just put it on once and then have big, bold eyelashes. That's not how they work. You have to do it every single day for months, for a certain amount of time. This one says, grow your own naturally, naturally full and beautifully long lashes with the help of this best-selling eyelash boost serum. Improve length, density, and strength of your hair and overall follicle help with the proprietary blend of amino acids. Apply nightly. It doesn't say when you'll start seeing results, but it does say apply nightly. So I don't know when you would start seeing results, but this is something you have to apply nightly. I don't know. I could try it, but I'm, I just know myself. I know I'm bad at, at a nightly routine. So, eh. okay. So those, that is worth $44. Last but not least, this is the coolest thing in the box. Um, and it is, it has, it's, it's wet because the, the eyeshadow, eye, eyeshadow remover dripped on it, but, um, it's sealed, so it'll be fine. This is the Huda Beauty Mercury, Mercury, this is the Huda Beauty Mercury, Mercury, oh, that is so hard to say. Why? This is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. This is amazing. This is fantastic. The problem being, I already own this palette. <laughs> so, I should have canceled because I don't really like the lash serum and I already have a Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. This is mine. It's beautiful, it's stunning. It has some neutral colors here, some light pastel -y colors here, and some fun colors down here. It is absolutely stunning. I have enjoyed every time I've used this palette. I love it, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. It's a great palette. It's on sale at Sephora right now for half off. It is a great palette. Do I need two of it? No. So when I get 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway for my 500 subscribers. I will probably put this in the giveaway for my 500 subscribers. And since it's an amazing palette, I think that'll be great. So is it a, is it worthless? No, because I'll be able to give it to one of you guys. It'll, and, and it's an awesome palette. It's amazing. So that'll be cool. That'll be cool for you guys. But for me, is this box amazing? Meh. Nah. Okay, let me tell you how much everything's worth. Okay, so it says it's a total of $208, but right now I know for a fact that the Sephora, on Sephora, the Huda Beauty Palette is half off. It says it's $67, so I'm going to um, take off $34, mm, $33, let's, let's round up, minus 33. Okay, that makes it 175. Okay, so that makes this, Set legitimately, more legitimately, $175. $175. I paid $40. So, did I get bang for my buck? Yeah, I did. I did, sure. But am I going to use this hair volumizing spray? No, I'm not. Am I going to use this palette? No, I'm not. I'm going to give that away. And am I going to use this lash serum? Probably not. So, that gives me three items. They, we have the makeup melter. Yeah, sure. I love makeup melters. That's great. Great, great, great. We have the eyeshadow primer, which, yeah, yeah. I like eyeshadow primers. They're great. I already have a couple of them. Sure, yeah. Then my favorite item is this lip liner. So, uh, would I have paid $40 for this lip liner? No. No, I wouldn't have. So, that's why I canceled BoxyCharm again. And the March items that you got to choose, I didn't like any of them. So BoxyCharm Premium got canceled again. I need to show some self-control. <laughs> Our last box that we are going to unbox in this video is the Melt Valentine's Mystery Box. Let's do it. Let's unbox it. Let's try to do it fast. Okay. So it was $25 with tax, but last time I got the $25 box plus the $75 box. So it was $100 plus tax. I don't know how much it was, but because it was over $75, I didn't have to pay shipping. This time, 
So in order to get free shipping from Melt, you have to spend $75. I did not want to spend $75. I didn't have $75 to spend. So I didn't get free shipping. And shipping was a whopping $10. So I'm going to say that this box was $35 because shipping was $10. So $35, not $25. Is, is it $35 worth it? Let's check. And I don't have a card like in the other boxes that tell me how much it's like each product is worth. So that will be in my description box if you want to know. So it came with some stickers. In the other box, I didn't get stickers. So I got two little butterfly stickers, which are cute. I think I'll give them to my daughter. I think she'll like them. Six items. That's pretty good. That's, um, I got six items in the Boxy Charm Premium box and that box is $40 and this one is $35. So is it better? Is it better than the BoxyCharm Premium Box? Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so. Okay, so right off the bat, I see two of these. These are two of the same liners. They are the Melt All Day Every Day. One is a lip liner and one is an eyeliner. Okay, so let's look at the lip liner first. It is in the shade Ambrosia. Ooh, it's just a nice red. Perfect. This is a Valentine's box and we have a red liner. It is also, it's in a pencil and just like the other one, like, and it is, ooh, it's very soft, very nice. So that was the Uma one and here is our Melt one. All right, beautiful, I like that a lot. Then we have the eyeliner and this one is in the shade Porcelina and it is, I can tell from the picture, it is white. We got a white eyeliner here. Okay, I have to admit that in the 2000s, I used to wear white eyeliner and only white eyeliner, that's all I wore, was white eyeliner. Okay, it's in a pencil, and it is super soft, ooh. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it. You can't tell, but I can. Nice, I think that people have been wearing like white in the inner corners to just like brighten up their inner corners. I like that, that'll be fun. Okay, then I got another eyeliner. This is the Melt metal bond gel eyeliner okay so i got this kind of eyeliner in my other mystery box but it was a mustard yellow and i haven't used it yet because i haven't had the opportunity to wear mustard yellow this one is a color that is much more i think i would wear much more it is a it's a rose gold which i think is beautiful i would totally wear rose gold i feel like this could be used as like an all over eye color which i'm kind of almost wearing now i'm actually wearing charlotte tilbury's um eyes to mesmerize in the shade rose gold right now <laughs> and i could wear this all over or as an eyeliner as a gel liner whatever floats your boat but that is beautiful i love that 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 one fits me much better than the mustard one. Another thing, obviously, from Melt. This is the Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Last, Last Kiss. I love matte lipsticks. I always have because they, you know, last for through meals and kisses. But now that all, we're all wearing masks, they're not perfect. They still get on your masks, but they still, like, you'll take off the mask and your lipstick will still be on. So matte lipsticks, to me, like, they were going away and then masks came and I feel like they're making a comeback. To, or at least I'm making them make a comeback. <laughs> okay, it is in the shade Last Kiss, which is this nice, pretty like, pinky red, I wanna say persimmon color, but it, that's not a real color, a uh, magenta kind of color. Very bright, very bold, pretty, nice. Like it, love a matte lipstick, and I love how they're magnetic, that's nice, okay. So then we got the liquid set lipstick and I also love lip liquid lipstick because it is also very, usually very matte. This is in the shade X. Then it is in a nice neutral, neutral pink color, I would say. So that was a terrible swatch. Good job, Bianca. Yeah. Neutral pink. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Well, let me just tell you, Melt is doing pretty good. Good job, Melt. Okay, last but not least, I got a palette. It is the 27 palette, which I'm, I guess I'm assuming what this means, like 24 seven, that you could wear this 24 hours, seven days a week because it is a neutral palette. And so it is very wearable. 
it's a very, very wearable palette. It is, I feel like it is really like fall toned. Um, it has these like, look at this, this like sienna color. That's gorgeous. It has some darker colors. It doesn't have a very bright light color, which I feel like it's missing. I would love it to have a light color for your inner corner or for your eyebrow and highlight, but I can pull into another palette for that. But other than that, it is absolutely stunning, stunning neutral palette. Okay, so six things. Out of all three boxes, this was the least expensive box and was the best. And I don't get it. It's not like a, a regular thing. I don't, there wasn't a mystery box from Mel in January. So I don't know if they're going to have another one. I probably won't do another one. I don't need to keep getting more and more Melt Cosmetics products. Um, at, at some point I'm going to get repeats. So that might be my last Melt mystery box, especially because I don't want to pay $10 shipping, but I was intrigued <laughs> with that one. All right. So if you stay till the end, thanks so much. I know that was a long video. I really appreciate it. Which box did you think was the best? Did you get any of these boxes? Let me know down below in the comments. I love comments. I love to hear from you guys and, and, and write back to you guys. So comment below. All right. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you liked me, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my videos, click the bell. And remember, most importantly, to be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day. Bye.